Okay, welcome back to Just Academy Mathematics, where we make you a mathematics genius. Um, this is uh, a sequel to our last class. We are still in um, matrix and determinant, and we have been talking about um, multiplication of matrix, a matrix by a matrix. Uh, and in our next class, in our last class, we we saw the beginning of that uh, subtopic multiplication of a matrix by another matrix we have done example one and two so this is a sequel this is example three we'll be doing example three four and five in this class so we have example three already uh, here now we are given that um, this matrix multiplied by this matrix is equals to this matrix find the value of x and y so since you know the the procedure for multiplication that is exactly what we are expected to do here so remember it is row times column row times column row times column row times column uh, so let's go row times column x times 4 is 4x four hmm? s times 4 is what 4x and y times minus 1 is minus y that is the first then you go again this row times this second column here so x times minus 3 is minus 3 x and y times 2 is plus 2 y uh, that is for the first row uh, of the first matrix now let's use the second row of the first matrix now uh, the row times column, row times column, minus 2 times 4, minus 8, uh, then uh, 1 times minus 1, minus 1, then minus 2 times 3, plus 6, plus 6, and 1 times 2 will give us 2. So this is equivalent to or equal to this matrix here. Uh, so if you take it further, you will notice that this is um, 4x minus y and then minus 3x plus 2y. Then here is minus 9 and here is 8. Can you see that both of them are looking equal now? Now, how do you know? Because here is minus 9, minus 9, 8, 8. So if here is minus 9, here is minus 9. The same way this is equal to this and this one here is equal to this one here so since we are looking for x and y let's pick this one first that 4x minus y is equal to 17 you can call it equation one i will do the same thing with this one here that minus 3s plus 2y is equal to minus 9 we can call this equation two so we have a simple simultaneous equation now to take care of so what do we do uh, let's um, let's multiply this so we have 4y minus 4s minus y equals to 17 and minus 3s plus 2y equals to minus 9 let's times this equation 1 with the coefficient of this y here which is 2 times this equation equation 2 with 1 uh, of course, I'm not teaching simultaneous equation, but you should know that by now. Then 2 times two times 4s is what? 8s. 2 times minus y, minus 2y. And 2 times 17 will give us what? Will give us what? 34. Uh, 1 times minus 3, minus 3x. Three 1 times 2, 2y. 1 times 9, minus 9. So the way it is now, notice that minus 2y plus 2y is 0. Out. It's out. This and this will give me what? 5x is equals to. So what do we get when we say 34 minus 9 to give us what? 25. So what that means now is that s is equals to 25 over 5 and s is equals to 5. Uh, so since we know that s is equals to 5, can we find y? Yes, we can use any of the equation. 4s minus y is equals to 17. So anywhere we see x, we replace it with 5. So I have 4 times 5 minus y is equal to 17. Of course, this is what 
20 minus 17 is equals to y and y is equals to 20 minus 17 is what 3 so these are the two values of x and y in this equation now let's proceed remember you can watch the video over and over again let's proceed to example number four uh, now we have a trigonometric um, uh, 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 this thing matrix now uh, you don't need to be you know you don't need to be scared of this cost and the sign it's just simple thing that you can handle but this question is from Wayek 1999 number 19 for the mass uh, now they say that P is this and Q is this and I is a 2 by 2 identity matrix find P Q plus 2 I let me show you this is P Q plus 2 times 2 by 2 identity what is P of course P is cos x minus sin x then sin x cos x here time same q what is q cos s sin s here then minus sin s then cos s here plus what 2 what is this i 2 by 2 identity means what 1 0 0 1 so this is what we are uh, evaluating. Let's proceed, the same procedure, the row times column, row times column, row times column, row times column. So cos s times cos s will give us what? Cos square x, then minus sin s times minus sin s will give us what? Plus sin square x, that is the first part. Now let's go again. Cos S times sin S is what? Plus cos cos S sin S. If anyone can start, it does not matter. It can be sin S cos S. Now, this this time this is this. Uh -huh. Minus sin S times cos S will give us minus cos s sin x are you following now mm -hmm. now let's use this row column sin s times cos s will give us what uh, will give us uh, sin s cos s cos s times sin s will give us what minus sin s cos x then followed by sin s times sin s is what sin square x uh, plus then cos s times cos s will give us what cos square x uh, we can as well just so that you not think is combining these two uh, this is what we have now so plus what two times one two two times zero zero 0 and 2. Now, in trigonometry, one of the identity, one of the from trig identity, from trigonometry identity, there is a, an identity that states that sine square s plus cos square s is equals to 1. So anywhere you see this, is equals to one whether sign is starting or cos is starting it means the same thing as far as it's plus so this one you are seeing here cos square s plus sine square s means one of course this and this are the same so this minus this is zero and this minus this is also zero why this sine square s plus cos s is one plus what two zero zero two so when you add them together, you have what? You have three, zero, zero, three. So this is the answer to this solution. Uh, can you see that it's simple? Okay, let's do one more. And I want you to be very careful with this question. I want you to be very vigilant with this one now. I'm about to solve. Watch it very, very carefully. Now, we're giving this expression. They say that... Uh, equation here 
that p is equals to this p is equals to 2 1 minus 1 1 and p square plus y p plus s identity this is i identity is equals to six identity find the value of x and y where i is a two by two identity so this is what we are dealing with we are solving for p square plus y times p plus x times identity two by two identity is equal to six times two by two identity so let's substitute and see p square means two minus one 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 square square means double it now that is two one minus one one that is square p square plus y times p p is two one minus one one yeah please square does not mean for you to turn here to four one one no you double the p p into two places that is meaning of square uh, plus s times two by two identities one zero zero one must be equals to six times one zero zero one so this is what we have now so let's proceed of course row times column two times two is what four plus one times minus one minus one 2 times 1 is what? 2. Plus 1 times 1, 1. Then we'll go with the second row. Minus 1 times 2 is minus 2. Minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 times 1, minus 1. 1 times 1 is 1. That is for this one. Then for the here, we have y bracket 2y plus what? y minus y y plus here what do we have here we have x zero zero x must be equals to six zero zero six uh, now what does this imply here is what three and three and minus three and then zero plus two y y minus y y plus x zero zero x all must be equals to six zero zero six so let's find x and y now from the rule of addition uh addition of a uh, matrix you know that three plus two y plus x is equals to six uh and then um, but we can make it easier for ourselves by looking for, because this one will give us, if you use this, we're going to be having S and Y. Why don't we use this one? Minus 3 plus minus Y plus 0 must be equal to 0. I think that should work. Minus 3 plus minus Y minus 3 plus minus Y plus 0 must be equal to 0. First, uh, this the second entry on the second row the first entry on the second row this first one here this first one here this first one here equals to this this plus this plus this equals to this of course so this is minus three minus y is equals to zero of course you know that what minus three is equals to y and y is equals to what minus three now that we know that y is equal to minus 3, let's find x. Uh, how do we find x? We have x here. x here. Uh, we can use this now. Or uh, anywhere that have x. Uh, we, we, can, we can use this uh, first, 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 first. Or we can use this uh, last one here. Last, last, last. So we can use this last one. That is 0 plus y plus x must be equal to 6. Of course, you already know that y is minus 3. So you have that minus 3 plus s is equal to what? 6. So you have that s is equal to 6 plus 3. You have that s is equal to 9. So for this expression, for this equation to be true, x uh, must be 9 and y must be minus 3. If you put 9 here in the place of S, put minus 3 here in the place of Y, the whole of this will give you this C006. So that is it. 
make sure you see the next class, which is the class I'll be treating more sophisticated multiplication of matrix, a matrix by a matrix. And remember, if you need a tutor, a one-on-one -on -one tutor, someone to coach you personally, then we got you covered. All you need to do is to send us a message uh, via our WhatsApp contact. I will take it off from there. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. Our YouTube channel and Facebook uh, handle is the same thing, Just Academy Mathematics. See you in our next class.